Welcome back to a new episode of Suave here at the 30 30 by series today's episode number 17 and today I'm gonna show you as you can already see a neon title animation this one is not animated this one was just the base but if you animate it it looks way cooler look at these oh yeah that looks way better and more realistic then you can like attach it to a place on your video and make it look even more real so let's go let's start right away and we're gonna create a new fusion composition and if this video gets 10 likes wow that's a lot wow no i'm just kidding um if this video gets 10 likes i'm gonna upload a macro file that then you can just input your text there and it's way easier to work with okay so first of all we're gonna add a text node <clears throat> and on the text node we're gonna write our main title and for the sake of, of this video, I'm going to write Suave again. And you can also choose whatever font you like. I chose this next art because it's, because it's um, pretty big and sort of fat. Because we're going to take the inside part of this by going here in the paint section, I think it's called. And then it's the shading section, I'm sorry. And then we're going to go to appearance and the text outline and we're gonna click on that we can also make it a little bit more opaque and whatever but I think when I made that one I made it at 0.85 and you can make it even thinner the thinner it looks the thinner you make it the thinner <laughs> oh I'm sorry the thinner you make it uh, the more realistic it might look but it's all up to you okay so once we have our text we're gonna add a glow mo a glow effect to it and then on this effect what i did was for the first one i added a little bit of glow and i made it like that you can play around with these for the color also but don't worry we're gonna change that we're going to use another type of node to change that later. And then we're going to add a second node. We're, we're going to copy and paste this glow effect. And on this one, we're going to make it less glowy, but we're going to make it like, we're going to make it bigger. So if you, if we, we look at the first one, it's like really around the edge of the, of the letter. And if you look at the second one, it's more of like that background glow, like that the actual wall where a neon sign is put on, like gets the light reflected off. Okay, so then we're gonna create um, then we're gonna create a color cor corrector node, and on this node we're gonna be able to change the color that we want. The more we go here, the stronger the color is gonna be. Let's let's make us uh bluish one and this one and then you can also change the hue but it just makes no sense to just change the hue again because that's basically just changing the color again right and then we're gonna go do saturation and we can make it more saturated you can also play around with these and adjust the amount of light that the thing gets if we go 0 0.05 it might add a little bit of cool light to it all right so then what i had done at first was i added a i added a mask to this background node but i think that the best option and the way that it will look better is to take this alpha out and then we're gonna go to this merge node and we're gonna create a mask on this and don't worry about it and we're gonna resize it obviously to fit the whole text and then we're gonna take the soft edge and make it a little bit bigger like you can't really see much of it right here because of the background but if we go back to black you're gonna you see here you can see that sort of like glowy circle thingy when you when we change the color when we move it around you can see it okay so we're gonna take this black out all right and that's pretty much the base and then the rest of it is animating it so the way that i that i animated it was by going to the merge node and on the merge node i played around with the blending here 
to play that as a as a turning on and off type of thing. And the way I animated it was by I went to frame 10 and I created a, a node on zero. Then I went one frame ahead and made it a little bit bigger. Went one ahead and what I went back backwards, sort sort of like slowly turning on, but kind of like needing to push back a little bit to like then get enough power to like power through the next like current of electricity type of thing, you know? Kind of like an arrow. You have to pull it back first to go forward. So yeah. So then that adds that like sort of like lighting the light turning on effect to it. And then later on here I I went around a couple more frames and instead of like turning it off here, I think I went to the color corrector and I played it set with the saturation just to add it sort of like a like a vibrant, like like as if the light is moving inside of it. So slowly it would just change it during the time that it's up there. So it's not just still, of course. And then it might be hard to notice it, but because it's like a subtle thing, you know, if you go too hard, too much, it will, you, it will be noticed. But if you go just a little bit, it will add that little detail effect, you know, to make it seem that there is something that's going on, but it's not really a lot. Okay, and then what I did was for the for the closing animation, I'm gonna put a little bit more here, and then I wanna go full black again, uh, full on one again. And for for the turning off, I basically did the same thing, but I did it the opposite way. So I went down, then I went one keyframe ahead, and then I went up again, then I went even lower, and then I also went ahead and did that same little jump there there and one last one there so then let's see how this one looks you see how it moves it seems like it moves a little bit and then it turns off again okay that was a pretty quick one to make because it's basically just once you figure out the light and how you like it to look then it just works and you see how it like, we can see how it illuminates the actual footage below it. Like, you see how everything is dark. Once the anim once the animation starts, you'll see how everything gets a little bit lit lit up in this section. And that's basically the effect that we're trying to obtain with this to make it look like an actual light. And of course, once it renders out, it will look even better. So let's look at the three of them one more time. That's the first one that I did, the base without being animated. And then and this is the second one, which looks a little bit more realistic because that adds, adds that shiny effect. And this is the third one that I did. I didn't add that turning off in the middle, like little jump like this one, but that was basically done with the, in the merge node where we adjust the blending mode. So I basically just turn it off by being full on in one keyframe and then zero in one in the other one. Let me just show you. I was zero in the other one here. It was basically one, then it was like 0.5 actually. It was not completely off. And then one and then again and then again. Just to add that little like like electric more realistic look to it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you if, if you guys give me 10 likes, I'm gonna be a like for, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, if you liked it, give, drop a like. If you enjoy this type of content, um, you can comment below or you can subscribe if you wanna see more. Today was episode 17. And as always, you can check the description to download the fusion composition of this. So then you can also play around with all the, with all the different settings and then maybe create something even better looking at these than these. So yeah, um, I will see you tomorrow in the next episode of the 30 by 30 series. Bye, Swabi. See you tomorrow.